Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to automate the creation of hygiene AI clones directly in your NA10 workflow. Virtual AI clones have made some very impressive progress lately. I have showed some of them to my friends and they couldn't genuinely tell that it was AI clones. They were really, really impressed. HeyGene is an amazing tool uh, to generate video clones. And unfortunately, there is no hygiene nodes in NA10 today. So it's not so easy to automate. This was true before this video. I will show you all you need to know to automate the creation of videos starring your AI clone directly in NA10. Important, there is absolutely no need for any technical skill. It will be very easy to reproduce. You will just have to copy what I'm doing in an 10 and it will work very well. So this is the aging dashboard. There, this is the place where you will create your AI clones. I will not cover this part in this tutorial since Ty has made a very complete in-depth tutorial about uh, AI clone creation and voice cloning. So I will link the tutorial in the description. Please follow it if you don't know how to create your clone. But if you have already your clone, you are ready to get to the next step, which is automation. So in the aging dashboard, you have the possibility to find many avatars. Those are open, so let's say free avatars to use, but they are not you. And you have the possibility to create your own avatar. For one um, aging account, you have the possibility to create one hyper hyper realistic avatar and for each hyper realistic avatar you can create some looks and uh, some um, variant for example here we can see that Thais has made tons of version of her 21 to be precise with different clothing style uh, where she is showing off her outfits and uh, we can use any any of those uh, in the automation and I will show you how which is very important here is also to notice that some are horizontal, some are portrait, and I think you can also create some square. And depending on the type of video you want to generate, it's important to cover the full range of format. Okay, you also have the possibility to connect uh, third-party voices. To be honest, today, Hagen voice uh, are not the best. For example, if you compare to Eleven Labs, um, there is a gap in the quality of the voice. So I strongly suggest if you want to reach a good quality, a good result, that you connect your clone to your voice clone using uh, Eleven Labs. So you can do it here by connecting a third party. Okay. And I will conclude this tutorial by showing you the template part. This is an additional possibility to create templates directly in Heijin. It's slightly more complex, but I will show you how at the end of this video. Okay. This is what I've built for you. So this is an NA10 uh, workflow. So there are Actually, are several workflows in this workflow, uh, but it's like all you need, it's like a, a toolbox to manipulate aging. So there are all the nodes you need to manipulate aging, and I will explain you how right now. So yes, before I dive in into that, you need to know that I'm offering you this workflow for free. So you don't need to take a pen and to note everything. You can download directly this full workflow uh, directly with the link in the description. Just I will just ask you for your email and I will send you the JSON file of the workflow that you just need to copy and paste in uh, an NA10 workflow and it will create this for you. Okay, so the first workflow here, it's transforming a text into a video. So uh, you take just one single text, like for example, we want to say video automation with AI clones is so much fun, okay? And it will turn it into a, a, a AI clone generated video. And this is very simple. So 
let's run it. So I path here the avatar ID, the voice ID, and the text I want to generate. Those I can find in my avatar section here. Here I can I can find the, the, the ID of the of the avatar. So every avatar has an ID, copy avatar ID here, and I can pass them here. And for the voice, the same. You can go to sorry, you can go to AI voices and you can find get voice ID. And you pass them in this uh, in this config node here. So you pass an avatar ID, a voice ID, and uh, at the text you want to turn into a video. Okay, then this node is calling the Heijin API, this URL using the post request, and I formatted a JSON uh, object here that is calling the Heijin API, uh, asking him to generate a video with those parameters. Here you can see that I have provided some dimension. If you want other dimension, you, you can um, you can change it here. And there are other options. I have simplified to keep it quite simple, but you can also pass an emotion and there is tons of parameter. And this you can find in a Heijin API documentation like that. Heijin API documentation. And you have here all the, the information created avatar, avatar, avatar video. And here you have all the the parameters, the documentation, and so on. So I will let you check if you want to go deeper and to produce different things. And it's just editing this JSON object. Then we have a loop, which is um, calling the video status. So it, it's taking a bit of time to generate a AI clone video. It can take, I don't know, depending on the length, a few minutes. So we have a wait node here that waits for 10 seconds. So we don't request every second. We let a little bit of, of space since there is no emergency. Then we have this request that is triggering the video status API endpoint within the parameter, the video ID that we retrieve from the, this node. This node returns the create video node, returns the video ID uh, as an output. And then we check if the status is completed, then yes, now it's, it's the case here. Uh, if no, then we loop again. So here we receive as the output, so the video URL, some duration, thumbnail, etc. So we can copy this link here. It will download and I will, I will show you. I will show you the result with some noise. Video automation with AI clones is so much fun. <laughs> it's cool, right? It's it's very fast. Like it took, I don't know, less than two minutes and it generated from a single line of text, a full, a full video that looks really good, really good. So this was the first part of the example, the text to video. So you can, of course, modify this, integrate it into, uh, into your process. You can be very creative. I am currently working on a very advanced solution where I can batch some, some content creation using Google Sheet. I can write one line or even one one script for full video per line and transform them into, into videos. And then I also use JSON to video. I will talk about this tool uh, a bit later in the video and I will do a video about that to go more in depth because I love it to automate the full creation of videos. It's really, really powerful. I'm getting a bit crazy and passionate about uh, video automation. So of course, this you can adapt to your needs. Okay, then I have in the purple box, I have made some, um, let's say some useful uh, node that you can that, that you can use in your workflows. I will show you them one by one. So I try to cover, cover everything that's useful for from my point of view uh, in the aging API, but 
you don't need to use all of them. It's just so you know they exist and there are other nodes that could be created. So for example, I have made one that lists the avatar. So you call it and it returns all the avatar for, that are available. But it's quite big because you also receive all the, the free avatar. So this is an option. It can be interesting in your workflow to do like conditional. In this case, I want this avatar. In this case, I want this avatar. So it's good to know that in the API, you can list all the avatars. Um, but since it's very big, it's not super optimized. So you have the possibility to list the groups of avatars like that. So this returns the, the, the group of avatars. Like here, we have two groups of avatars. So you can manage your avatar like that. And finally, you can list the avatars in a group. So you pass the ID of a group, and it returns only the avatar from, from, this, from this group. So here, we have the 21 avatars from, from Dice. From, Dice is my friend and my business partner. We are together creating uh, tons of good and exciting project. So it's uh, here an official invitation for you to join us in the AI Atelier. We'll find the link in the description. It's a place where we teach AI automation. And to, in this moment, we are very focused on, uh, on video automation. But it's, of course, not the only topic we are covering. OK, I cleaned a bit. I had made some mistake. So then let's shift to the video nodes here. So you have the node that we have in the example, create video and get video status, those two. I will not show them here since we have already showcased them in the example. Then you have the list voices. This also can be handy to return all the, the voices that you have here. It's also quite, quite big, the result, but uh, yeah, at least you know it exists. And then you have the, the template nodes here. Um, so this is for Heijin template. So I will, I think it's maybe more clear if I start with an example. Okay, so this is the second example I've built and it's a bit more advanced than just from one text. You just have, in the first example, you have a text and the, out, the output is a video. And here you are, we are using Heijin templates. So Heijin templates um, offers the possibility to do really more advanced things like the one I'm showing you in the example here. And I will show you a very, very simple example. So I create a demo template here and you have the possibility, you have a timeline at the bottom and you can create scenes. And for each scenes, you can choose an avatar like that. I have well, uh, placed ties front view and ties in close up. So this template has two scenes and then I can add a script here and I can choose a, a voice for a script for scene one and a script for scene two. And here I need to place the, the name of the variable into brackets like that, script one, script two, and I can have as many as I want. I keep it very simple, but you have um, a lot of other possibilities. You can add some text, you can add some images and so on. If you are interested about that, just write in the comment and maybe I will do another uh, video regarding uh, Heijin template. Even though I have to be honest, I don't like so much this part of Heijin, at least for now. I think it's yet not very finished and not powerful enough. Um, and let me show you what I wanted to create. I wanted to create this, this uh, news feed. So we created in our YouTube channel a fully automated news feed. So we produce short videos that are covering the AI landscape actuality. And it's a fully automated workflow. So from the ID finding to the, to the script, to the video generation, to the publication to YouTube, Everything is fully automated in this uh, in this little um, in this playlist in the video we push in that playlist, and it's it's more for the sake of technical demonstration that we have done that because we wanted to to, to take the challenge and I think it's a very interesting challenge and we learned a lot and here is the result I show you the, this video. Children is revolutionizing organ transplantation, saving more lives than ever before. 
In this video, we'll explore how AI is enhancing donor identification, optimizing transplantation logistics, and improving patient care. Firstly, AI enhances donor recipient matching by analyzing vast data sets, including genetic markers and patient history to predict the best matches and reduce rejection risks. Secondly, AI-powered robotic surgery systems provide you see there are some, enhanced some, precision. We have some images. We use perplexity to find those images. We have, the, we have some captions that are automatically generated and added to the video. And we have several shots. We have the music, we have sounds, transition, and everything is automated. Everything is automated. Assisting in minimally invasive procedures and improving surgical outcomes. Lastly, yes, so I let you take the time to check this video. I think it's quite impressive for a fully automated workflow. It takes less than 10 minutes per day to generate those video to our workflow. So it's really cool and we could ship one per hour if we wanted. Okay, so I wanted to do this and uh, I prefer to use JSON, JSON to video, which is a tool that allows to create templates. And I think it's way more powerful than Heijin for this. So after having tried Heijin for a while, I decided to use Heijin just to, to record the video because it's very good for that. But the editing, to automate the editing, I prefer JSON to video. You will find a link in the description and I will do a tutorial about that a bit later. But let's get back to our workflow. So this workflow is using this demo template here. And here we pass the template ID. In the node here, we can, we can pass the variables. So we want script one and script two. So, hey there, how are you doing? So we pass he this here. Um, of course, we could make it a bit more friendly, but I just wanted you to understand. And if you want more, just let me know. Then we have the same process to wait until the video is ready, and then we get the URL. So that's it. Here you have to list uh, the possibility to list the templates. So this returns all your available templates and the possibility to get the element um, of one template. So here, if I click, I pass the, yes, the template ID and I see that I have the variables that I, that I can use. So this can also be very helpful if I want to make something a bit more complex with some dynamic logic in the, in the workflow. Yes. So. I think I think that's it. I think that I, I made a good roundup around uh, Heijin using Heijin in LA10. Um, for me, it's very fun to explore this, and uh, and I'm still feeling that there's tons of new things every day to discover, and that's very excited. So I think I'm about to specialize myself really into automation and AI, but regarding video creation. So if you're interested in that topic, really reach out, join the AI community, the AI Atelier community, um, follow this YouTube channel because we will ship more and look at the other tutorials we have created where we show, for example, yes, for example, this can be interesting for you. I show how I created the fully automated uh, AI news feed on YouTube. Peace.